Hey you, it's Scientific Nerd here, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Valentine's Day and the science behind it. So as a scientific person, I don't feel love. Actually, just kidding, I do feel love, but I hate Valentine's Day. Just kidding, I don't hate Valentine's Day. But in all actuality, I only like the candy. Anyway, Valentine's Day is coming up, and a lot of people are feeling love. Love is in the air. It's it's the it's the it's the love holiday. It's you know you know you know. So what I'm going to talk about is a little bit about the chemistry behind love. And just a little disclaimer: I did not do any of the research of the article that I'm stealing this of. I'll put the link in the in the thing below so you can read it for yourself. The article is by Leanne Aubringer. So anyway, to start off, to break it to you, there are only two things that you really like. And those two things are serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin is more, it has to do more with food and satisfying yourself. And dopamine is what is released into your brain when you have a feeling of bliss. And I will talk more about dopamine and more of those chemicals and some other things that have to do with the chemicals that are running through your brain when you're in love. So you can probably already guess that estrogen and testosterone have quite a bit to do with it. But when you look at somebody you love, there are other things that are happening. You get that feeling of bliss. That's the dopamine that's being released into your brain. Another chemical, norepinephrine, is what makes you feel excited when you're in love. And those two chemicals put together kind of make up what love actually is. So you know that song, what is love? Baby don't hurt me, don't hurt me, etc. Now you know. Another fact about norepinephrine is that if you have low levels of it, it can cause depression. So this is Science Nerd signing off. You can read the article when the video is over and see you later. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine.